Uh, everybody who said, how are you gonna fit all this stuff? Oh my gosh, y'all were right. Look at my car, I have a Jeep. Zara's car seat's gonna come out because they're gonna ride with my parents. My dad has an F-150, fully loaded in the back here. And then also in the back seat here, full. We have a third car, fully packed. And then our fourth car. So the kids are gonna be riding in here, so. Oh Lord. Mm. It's a lot. Ooh. After three hours, y'all, we made it. Mm. So nice. Ooh, we made it, y'all, and it has been a process. We're still setting up our camp kitchen. Just wanted you guys to see all of our lights and all of our tents. I'll give you guys a full tour tomorrow. Uh, my mom's tent is the most lit tent, as you can see. It's where the kids are. The fairy lights. This is my sister's bed. Oh, Say hi. I don't have it made hi. up yet. Right. We can. And then my mom's side, we got our chairs, we have the beautiful lake, we have our path lights, but I'm gonna add more. And then my, oh, my lights aren't on. Here's our little fairy lights, isn't it cute? But then our tent has a light as well. There it is. So, girls are right here, Charles and I are right here, my friend's tent and her family, and then here is our little bathroom tent. I'll put some fairy lights in here as well. Sorry, the camera's having a hard time focusing, but isn't it cute? I have the proper bags that you use that are biodegradable, and then the they're called poo poo sticks, like this powder that you put in it, and it you know absorbs all the liquid, and it's safe to throw them in the dumpster. So that's what we're gonna use for this weekend. Then that's the shower side that we haven't set up yet. Our screen tent as well, where we'll sit, eat, chill, whatever. And so it's nice. Hey y'all, so I just took a shower in the utility tent and it was ice cold, but it's so hot that it felt so good. The temperature does drop to like in the 60s, like I would say 65-ish. So that cold shower though felt good because it was a lot of, I gave myself a little light. It was a lot of work today, y'all. I was sweating. Girl, and the natural deodorant I had worked, praise the Lord. Because I didn't want to walk around stinking, so it worked. Um, the raw deodorant that I got from Target. I'll have to show you guys later, but the camp, our tent is a little bit of a mess, so I'm going to straighten it up and give you guys a proper um, our proper tour of our camp setup Money tomorrow, awesome. but <sighs> the girls are still awake. They're really excited. Oh, that's Charles, but the girls are over there. They're really excited, so all right, good night. Hey, y'all. Oh my gosh, it was quite the adventure last night. I couldn't sleep. I kept waking up and hearing things. First I heard either an animal, it sounded like somebody was walking. <laughs> Every time, like the frogs are just so loud. I mean, I don't know what kind of frogs these are. Okay, what planet they're from. But the frogs are so loud. I can deal with the crickets because that's kind of calming to me, but the frogs. And I like the sound of the birds, but baby. And then some animal was walking in the back of our tents and I kept waking up. And then um, several people woke up to use the bathroom tent. Woke up every single time for that. Every single time Charles moved, woke up because we we're on like a air mattress. So let's just say it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> but let me show you the view. A pretty lake. Something beautiful. It's so calm. It's so calm. Beautiful, right? We're gonna try to fish, but it's so pretty. I could see, I don't know those air bubbles, I guess those are fish. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. There's little air bubbles that you can see that I think are fish. So, here's the front part of our camp. Only thing we didn't do is our portable hand washing station. We need to do that. Right now, the temperature is 64. And honey, for somebody, in Georgia, in June, that's pretty cold. We used to it being in the 70s. <sighs> I love my chair though from Academy Sports. So I guess we'll get ready to make breakfast soon. And I gotta empty out the toilet bag because it's several people had to use it throughout the night. I'm glad I bought it because not that the bathrooms are far, they're like across the road here. But who wants to do that in the middle of the night with animals walking around? Mmm, bacon time. 
I love my Blackstone. I love it. <laughs> I do. Russia's over here making grits. We're gonna have some potatoes, bacon, and eggs, and pancakes. That's a lot, but listen, we like to have a nice buffet bar for breakfast. Here's how our campground looks. Welcome from the bathrooms. I meant to film it. I'll film it next time. But we walk in, it's like a half moon, and so we walk down. I gotta finish helping Rache make breakfast. We are having eggs, bacon, um, sausage, pancakes, grits, a whole nine. So I'm gonna set up our table with the tablecloths and everything. Get it looking nice. No, I forgot to show you my plate. I was so hungry. <laughs> Everybody's sitting in there eating, but it's kind of hot, so I sat out here. I did not think I would sit in the elements and eat, but I'm enjoying the view. I'm gonna drink my coffee. We had um, grits, watermelon, strawberries, blueberries, pineapple, bacon, sausage, eggs, and pancakes. So I'm nice and full. Girls are fishing. I missed it with my camera, and I am. And um, she picked up a minnow and put it on her what you mean? rod. I'm so proud of her. So um, now we're gonna put a little real hook on Zara's and then see how it goes. But it's cute. I can't touch it because I'm allergic and I will get sick. I'll get sick from touching that. Kids are fishing. So cute. I'm just trying to figure it out. I think I'm gonna hold the baby. It's some baby time. Nice cool air. Say hi. Say hi, Anderson. I call him Baby Bisky. That's his nickname. Let me see if I can get you to smile on camera. You silly boy. You silly boy. You silly boy. You can't have the camera. You can't have the camera. Are you a silly baby boy? Are you a silly baby boy? He's over it. That's why we're sitting down and taking a five. Ava is such a good little babysitter. We are walking the baby down to the dock with Roche and Charles to see if they can catch anything. I don't know. Okay, we gotta be quiet. The dock looks a little shady, um, but <laughs> we will see. Gotta be quiet because we don't want to scare the fish. Quiet, quiet. It's beautiful and whispering because I don't want to scare any fish. So we just got playing, finished playing wolf ball. It was everything. Of course, my family won. It was really just three of us, me, Charles, and Zara against Hubert, Roche, Harrison, and Kendall. <laughs> and we tore them up. <laughs> we tore them up five to three. I love it. I'm so competitive if you didn't know. So anyway, I'm just walking with my sister in this field. She wants to get a few shots for um, her film photography. She likes to shoot with film. And it's very woodsy over here. Let's see, it's very pretty. Crickets are already starting. So, now, let's see what kind of shots we can get. My sister's favorite YouTuber is Isabel Page. And so Isabel is always running, like doing a slow-mo of her running in a field of grass. So I told my sister she could do it and I would film her. And here she is. <laughs> You're really, really crazy. Okay, we got the campfire going. We gotta get to buy some firewood because the wood that was right here was not firewood, it's not, it wasn't burning very well. So I'm getting ready to make myself a s'more. My sticks are kind of uh, short. I can't find my Dollar Tree ones that extend, but I don't think I had enough of them anyway. Mom, almost and I'm almost done with one. Yeah, yeah baby. So I am going to eat, make myself a s'more. Dinner, we had burgers. We had a late lunch. We had um, hot dogs, sandwiches, pizza for lunch. And so we just had burgers and that's it. And now, that's We're having our dessert. Oh, okay, so day three. Okay, I'm gonna give you an official tour 
of my tent today and explain where I got everything, what I'm using, what I'm not using. So we're making breakfast. After breakfast, I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'll show you. They have some wild animals out here in the wild that just sound crazy. This sounds dinosaur-like, to be honest, and I'm um, just trying to figure out what it is, so. That sounds like a buzzard. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness, we caught a fish. For shame of me. What caught a fish. <sighs> so good. Ooh, okay. Yep, mm-hmm. She's it's cute, we should keep it. Oh my gosh, it's under your chair, get it. It's going in the ocean. Oh, look at it. Saved its own life. Look at him. He jumped back in the water? Yeah, he all the way from back here. <laughs> he just, he went like this. <laughs> Made his way back in the water. Oh, wow. Let's catch a big one, huh? So we could fry it up. It's a pretty good cast. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and give you guys an official tour. A lay of the land. It's a little messy now because this is day three we've been here, but I was just been trying to enjoy myself. Charles playing horseshoe. Baby sleep. My parents are getting cool. My sister's getting cool. The kids are just sitting around. We just got back from taking a little nature walk around the path. Got our eat-in tent. So let me give you a, tour, a full tour of the kitchen. All right, so we have the, is this a hexagon or an octagon? It's an octagon, I think. I really like this tent. Is it annoying to have to zip it, you know, from the bottom? I mean, we're bending down to unzip and zip, re-zip constantly. I'm coming in, Pop, thanks. But I really like it for our kitchen. How we have this setup is we have two Cabela Easy setups. Roche has hers, I have mine. And then we have these like TV trays we bought from home and then our coolers. And we've just been making it work. I know for some people this is glamping. For me, this is still roughing it. <laughs> but it gets really hot in here with this blackstone. This blackstone, first of all, it sucks up the propane really quickly. And um, it gets super hot in here, it's like a sauna. But it's been very convenient to have this to cook for so many people. You just can quickly cook our burgers, our hot dogs, our pancakes, our bacon, or whatever. This is a 22 inch black stone. But to be safe, we put a piece of plywood underneath it because this metal, I don't think it would be safe for us to cook on this without it because it would get incredibly hot. I'd be scared it was gonna melt. We have a little organizer underneath here with our utensils and just different things you need for the kitchen, our seasoning, our napkins, our towels. And then we have a, a Coleman Triton two top burn, um, burner here to use and we've been using our cast irons on there. You know, utensils set up. And over here we have a deep fryer because we were hoping to catch some fish to fry. But we have uh, some shrimp to fry and some french fries. We have our little mini coffee maker. We have two, three cold coolers and then two dry coolers with our food and drinks. Overall, this has been working nicely. It works perfectly. It's usually me and Rochelle in here cooking and it's been helpful. Um, and then also the lights. I showed you guys the lights earlier, but it's been, I love having the lights in here. Now the duct tape I got from the Dollar Tree wasn't working, so we just strung them along here. And it's great lighting. We use the two lanterns on top, two to add extra lighting when we need it, but um, it's a great ambiance and it's, I like it, I like it a lot. All right, here we have, um, this was came with the campsite, obviously, a little table here, a prep table, a coal burning grill, a little fire pit. We bought some fire, pre-treated firewood. This wasn't really burning while it was here, but it, it's not, it wasn't burning well, so we have, we bought some from the front of the camp grounds. Been hanging up our trash, and then we just have the tables here with a bunch of stuff on it. Then over here is my parents' tent and my sister's sport pog bug pod. She doesn't really do well in the heat um, or with the bugs, but she's cooling off in here. Oh my Are you okay, gosh. sis? <laughs> Are you right? I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. serving my energy. Oh, okay. But she stays in this thing. Okay. Oh. She's not sleeping. She's in this bug. Pog bug. In my parents' tent, they have the Queen Coleman air mattress and cot. And my sister has a little, almost like a tanning bed cot. It's so low to the ground. She didn't really mean I realized to get it so low to the ground and she has her little end table there with her things. But this is a 12 person Ozark trail. And it's really nice. They have like a little canopy here. It's great. Over here we have a Magellan. What is this, a 12 by 12? That octagon is a 12 by 14, I think. Um, but this is a 12 by 12 slanted screen tent. We have two, one six foot table, one four foot table in there. We've been eating in there, just hanging out in there. I have my Bajellan outdoor chair in there. I love these chairs. So comfortable, it doesn't feel like you're sitting on the ground. It was well worth $39 from Academy Sports. The chair is everything. 
So we've been eating in there, like I said, sometimes we'll serve our food. We have our umbrella tents for the food so that the flies don't attack us. Now on the ground, I have my Dollar Tree night paths lights, and those have been helpful at nighttime to, you know, I don't know, so it's not so dark because it is pitch black out here from having light. Now, onto my tent. This is the 12 person members mark tent from Sam's Club. This tent is huge. I do like it a lot. Is the zipper a little cumbersome? Yes, it is, but I mean, it's doing what we need to do for the price. This tent wasn't bad. I think it was $199.99 for a 12 person tent. That's not incredibly expensive. Sorry, it's a little messy, but basically you have your door here then we have one two three four five windows this is like a double window here on this side and that door can open up and then we can have like a little canopy if we wanted to but we didn't decided not to use it like that my kids have their two cots here these are just uh single Coleman cots I believe and then we have a double camp right cot and I have a, a queen air mattress on top and it's been helpful. It was really cold last night. It got down to 59 degrees and it was cold, but we, we were warm in here. I just made sure all of the windows were closed. And then I have my little fairy lights strung and hung by zip ties that go around the center for just like a little night light. This is a lighted tent. And so that does come on and you can put it on dim, but I found it to be a little bit too bright. So we um, didn't use it. And then we have our little fan. I think I got that from Amazon for like $25. That comes on, it comes with a remote control. You could use it as a light and a fan. And we have that to cool it off in here. Those little end tables I got from Five Below for $5. You guys remember that Five Below, that big haul I made for Five Below. Costco and Academy Sports. You can tap this eye right here to watch it. But but those have been very, very helpful. So yeah, this is our tent. We like it. My little throw rugs I got from Five Below as well. I have moving blankets underneath that to just help with the padding on the floor. And it's been helping. Now behind us is the water, our little water hookup. So everybody's been washing their hands and stuff. So that's that. Leave our shoes outside of the tent as well. This came from Five Below and I think this is Dollar Tree. Okay, so then this is... Rache's tent, her and her family sleep in here. They have a six month old, 14 year old, and a 10 year old. And they fit, they have the same setup as we, as we do. Now, let me show you what has been a true saver, is this utility tent, this Ozark Trail two room utility tent. At first I was on the fence like, should I buy it, should I not? Should I buy it, should I not? And something told me, let me just go ahead and buy it. And it has been such a saver at night because the bathrooms, although they're not far, and it's convenient. You gotta walk up here, cross the street, and then kind of walk slantly up a hill. And I don't know if you can see through the trees there, but there is a building right there. That is the bathroom, okay? And so we were having to walk up there to use the bathroom, and that's fine, but honey, in the middle of the night, it is a hike, <laughs> especially with it being so dark. So now, we, of course, we have plenty of lanterns, headlights, and and flashlights, but my parents use the bathroom a lot in the middle of the night, my sister does, and then my friend who's breastfeeding her, her son is, so I bought this. I'm the only one who's used it as a shower, but everybody else uses it to go to the bathroom at night. Let me show you how I'm setting it up. I should say that this tent was $150 from Walmart. Like I said, I was on the fence, like, should I buy it, should I need it? But I'm so glad I did. So I have this toilet here set up where it's a bucket. In there, I bought these toilet bags from Amazon where it has like uh, the polymer or the substance, it's like a powder substance inside the bag so that it solidifies your urine and masks the scent. And then it's a, in a biodegradable sealed bag after you're done using it, once it's full, so it's safe to throw away because you can't, a lot of people, I saw a lot of videos where people were just buying trash bags and putting kitty, kitty litter in it and then using them and just throwing them in a dumpster. And that is is very, first of all, it's unsanitary. And secondly, it's it's horrible for the environment. So that this is our setup. We only use this at night. Or if you know somebody just can't make it to the bathroom, we have our toilet paper, Lysol, and our hand sanitizer. I have fairy lights that I hung with zip ties that go along and helps at night when you're using the bathroom. It's the perfect amount of light, okay? These are solar powered too, by the way. I got them off of Amazon. I got a pack off of Amazon, then I got a pack off of uh, Groupon. I think they were like 20 bucks for like a three pack. They're the same fairy lights that are in our tent. On this side, is the shower. Now, I, I grabbed this bath mat because you see it puddles a lot. I have a tarp underneath and then there's holes on the side here where the water's supposed to drain, but the water just stays in there. And so next time, I'm gonna, Five Below has these little 
wooden planks they're like deck tiles i might buy enough to cover this square next time but it's fine <laughs> i have two windows here i can hang my lantern there and then there's a, a shower bag that gets hooked here that i've been using now i also have a sh battery powered shower pump but since i'm the only one using this it's just been fine the water is cold but honestly girl it is so hot in the day that at nighttime when i'm ready to go to bed a cold shower is just everything i need do i feel like it's a good shower no you know <laughs> but it's good enough to like you know wash i would say that and it's convenient so and clean so that is the shower tent, but this has been a really, really good life. This was a great investment. I'm glad I did. Of course, we have tiki torches. It has been a pain in the butt to try to get it in the ground, though. There's so many layers of gravel and rocks that it's just really hard to dig in. We have a little shovel that we use, but overall, this is our camp site, and we like it. The trees are absolutely beautiful. At night, the moon is like right in the middle of the lake. It's beautiful, stunning. The tiki torches help with the bugs. Now the mosquitoes are off the chain. But let me tell you, girl, this skin so soft is working. I'm sweating. It's hot. Right now it's supposed to be 90 degrees today, but the skin so soft is keeping the mosquitoes away. It, it's everything it was in the 90s. It's the same thing. That's why I'm enjoying it myself because the mosquitoes will take it out of me. The mosquitoes will have me sleeping in my car with the air conditioning on running. So um, <laughs> that is that. But yeah, we're having a good time. About to make lunch soon. Shay's over there trying to fish, you know, trying to catch us a good, she keeps catching like little ones, but we have to take them, throw them back. We're hoping to catch a good three to five pounder, see how it goes. So yeah, we are enjoying ourselves for sure. We were wondering how big these lots are. Um, it was hard for me to find a lot that was big enough to accommodate all 11 of us. These tents are 18 by 10, 18 by 10, and that is 16 by 12. I think my, my mom's tent on the end there. Um, that's 12 by 12, I think that's 12 by 14, but it's an octagon, so it's kind of weirdly shaped. So this is like, I want to say, maybe um, 50 to 60 feet going this way to be able to accommodate all of us. And then we still have this driveway here uh, with the car here, and then the truck, and my Jeep over there, and my mom's car, so. Yes, we did have to take four cars to bring all of the stuff down <laughs> for three nights, but it is what it is. Uh, we're having a good time. We're just making the best of it. Hubby and I are taking a walk up to the front. They sell like little ice cream bars. So we're walking up there. So pretty. That's where we were playing wiffle ball at. Up there where the we tore them up, didn't we, babe? The, What's uh, up? HL we tore them up. Three they want a rematch, but listen, honey, my body's not made like I used to years ago. And I can only get one, you can only get one good game out of me. So my legs get real tight. I was so sore last night. Oh, my sister got this inflatable boat. Kids. <laughs> Charles and I are helping her with this. I tied this rope because I'm nervous for her. Let's see, of course. Harrison, I need you to help with this, okay? Oh, I'm pushing. <laughs> Harrison. <laughs> oh my God. You got it, sis. Sis, you got it. <laughs> Good. You got it, sis. Okay, hey, we're gonna fish, so stop scaring the fish away. Oh my gosh, it's, oh my thumb. Oh my gosh. Sis, you're doing great. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Here. You're doing great, sis. I think there's something in here. Yeah, fish and turtles. You got it, sis. I want to see a fish swap. You're doing great. We believe in you. <laughs> You're doing great. Just going in circles, but if you that's what you want to do, we're here for it. <laughs> I want to bring her. Shh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I told you the birds are circling. <laughs> is, is what? Is um. You gonna have to uh, push it back up to shore? No, sis, you're gonna have to. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna have to sit up. What are you doing, sis? I'm trying to get my butt up off the ground. Just lay down. You can pull me in. Okay, just lay down. Hurry up! No one can pull you in. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, here comes Hubert. Help! 
help. Hi, hi. Is he gonna I don't know what. We have reinforcements coming here. Ryan said, let me get out. They started circling real bad, the birds. I saw them up there. Where are they going? There was about five or six of them. It's beautiful. Out here on the dock, it's a floating dock, so it makes me feel a little wobbly. I don't know. <laughs> we just finished fishing. Well, Charles and my friend Roger are still out there. I'm gonna come back so I can get ready to start dinner. We didn't catch anything to cook, but praise God we have plenty out of food to cook. I just wanted you guys to hear the wildlife. That screaming sound are, is frogs. You're looking at the lake, by the way. But at like four o'clock in the morning, because I kept waking up, the moon is right in the middle of the lake and shines. It's so bright. It's almost like it's daytime. It's so bright. It's really pretty. A little scary, but very pretty. So it looks at night. I showed it at night. We put a few tiki torches. We, we got a shovel and put a few tiki torches in. The camera's having a hard time focusing, but it's nice. It's the next morning, y'all. It's our last day, and we are packing up all of the stuff. I must say, this is the part where I'm like questioning the whole weekend, like why we did this. <laughs> this is no joke. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of work. Um, it makes no, I, I shouldn't say that. We had a good time, but it makes me question if I'll do this again. You know what I mean? All right, let me get back to packing. Oh my gosh, y'all, we finally made it home. I have been unpacking for what seems like about five days. Um, we got up at 6.30 this morning, it is 4.30. And I'm just getting home and unpacking everything. Yeah. It makes me wanna question if I wanna do this again. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, I really don't. It's a lot of work. I am trying to unpack these bins, throw away the trash, I have to like, took the food out, and then repack it with camping stuff in case we need it or if by chance we go again. Oh, the process, y'all, it has been, mm, I just wanna sit down. But see, the thing is, if I sit down, I'm not getting up and this just won't be done. So I just have to push myself, get it done, and then the clothes and stuff, I'll start, those are all of our dirty clothes, I'm just gonna start uh, washing those. And then the clean clothes that are in the bags, I will just put away. So I'm giving myself like about an hour. Um, and then I have to, this is, might be TMI, but you know, we're family. I have to take a poop, a real poop. Cause I feel like I wasn't really pooping while I was there, if that makes sense. I don't know. Let me just get to work. Well, I've been home for a couple of days now and my house is still a mess. And to be honest with you, there's a piece of me that just wants to sell a lot of this stuff on Facebook Marketplace because I honestly do not know if I want to go camping again. But then there's a piece of me that's like, well, maybe I'll forget exactly how much work it was and want to do this again. Either way, I just don't know. But thank you guys so much for your advice over the months and your tips for watching. I really, truly appreciate all of you. If you haven't hit that like button, give my video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Thank you again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.